Welcome back, everybody. Uh, this is the part number two of uh, topic number four about timing analysis for the purpose of um, finding out the longest delay, the most timing critical path in a circuit. Uh, this time, uh, the difference is that we won't use any pin constraints, but only timing constraints in order to find out the uh, most timing critical path through our uh, four bit adder uh, example. The reason uh, we are doing this second way of uh, doing timing analysis is because uh, we don't have that many uh, pins that we would uh, want to attach to slide switches and LEDs like we uh, did with a uh, four bit adder uh, in cases where our design entities would have a lot of uh, input and output uh, pins. So in, in this case, we'll uh, just uh, set timing constraints and uh, ignore any pin constraints. Uh, the delay of the circuit will still be meaningful um, in, in that the inputs and outputs will not be connected to actual pins of the chip. And the steps that will go through are uh, essentially the same um, as, as uh, we did in the previous video. The difference will be only uh, when we will uh, set uh, the constraints. Uh, so um, let me go ahead and uh, do exactly the same thing as I did last time. Uh, create a new folder. Uh, for bit underscore other, uh, I'll go and I'll pick up again the four bit other uh, VHDL and the full other VHDL and place them in the newly created folder. Uh, when I'm gonna create a project, uh, I'll start with Vado, say project new. Next. Created in the same place as I did last time. Um, in my projects for spring, select, uh, I will call it four bit other, of course. Next, uh, next add source files. I'll have the two. Okay, I'll skip uh, the constraints file. Uh, I will select the target uh, FPGA device the same as we did last time, and that is the FPGA device that uh, we have it on the basis three that you will end up not using anymore in, in this course, but you did. Digital logic, um, just uh, for the purpose of getting uh, more meaningful and uh, realistic delay uh, numbers. Uh, so let's we'll take that next. Uh, this is the summary. Finish. So we we'll can do only. Synthesis and implementation, so we don't need uh, any simulation in, in, uh, in this exercise of finding out the delay of a circuit. Uh, but what we need is to go and uh, set some constraints. Edit constraints, create file, name it again for bit other constraints. I keep the same default uh, extension file type. Okay, okay, should be created. Uh, but it's empty. I will bring with copy and paste again from the template or example that I provided uh, you on, on DeepVL. Uh, not anymore this uh, pin constraints, but only this. I mean constraint that I'll just take it with copy and place it here with paste it. This essentially um, sets as a timing constraint uh, the maximum delay that we want to have in, in our circuit data path from any inputs to any outputs and um, just because I know uh, already that the delay of the 4-bit other is, is um, a little bit less than, than this, I will set the, the constraints to be uh, 9.5 um, nanoseconds. Uh, save. 
and then uh, just run synthesis. Again, uh, as the synthesis is running, you'll see uh, that message uh, showing that it is running. Again, what we did was to just create a uh, Vivado project. We added the source files, our VHDL source files, so the 4-bit adder and the full adder. That is a uh, component that is instantiated inside the 4-bit adder. Um, and then we uh, created the constraints file. Oops, this is done. Uh, so let's run the implementation also. And then uh, uh, we um, added the constraints file uh, that we edited uh, to set the maximum delay from any input to any output. And then uh, run synthesis and run implementation that is still going on right now. At the end, we'll, uh, we should be able to uh, look at the timing report again and find out the delay of the longest path. And we'll also see if that is less or not than the timing constraint that we uh, uh, requested or were, were set. Uh, if that would not be set, then that, that constraint would be uh, violated, but that, that's okay. Uh, we will only need to find out uh, whether uh, only, only what the longest delay is. My laptop is not that fast. Okay, then uh, view reports. We will uh, look at the timing. Report. You'll see here uh, where the circuit is being uh, implemented. Uh, let's look and find out uh, that the most timing critical path in this case is from bit uh, index 2 a2 to carry output. Uh, again, if you go and uh, take a look at the entity declaration of the 4-bit adder, the inputs are A, B, the outputs are Z and carry output. Uh, the longest uh, delay is from input A2 to carry output, uh, and it is uh, 7.949 nanoseconds, definitely less than the required 9.5 that we had uh, asked in, in um, our timing constraint. So that, that's, uh, that's, that, that's okay. Uh, so this is how you will uh, find out uh, the longest delay in uh, your uh, circuit without uh, setting pin constraints, but, but only timing constraints. Um, I hope that that is clear. If you still have questions, uh, send me an, an email. Uh, thank you.